I'll be showing six new features in Teams assignments. This includes the top requested video feedback for educators to give students reading progress updates, mobile improvements, and a whole lot more. So let's get started. The first new feature is the number one request from educators, which is giving video feedback when grading student work. Open up an assignment here, and I'm gonna open up the grading view. What you're gonna see is right under feedback, there are some new options, including the video recording option. So this little camera here, I will click on, Hey, here's the video recording feature. So I can choose my video camera right here. I've got microphone options as well. And when I click record, get a countdown. Hey Ella, great job on your Amazon rainforest assignment. I really like the way that you cited your sources. You had great details. Then when you're done, just click the little pause and I can review what I recorded. Click review, I can play it. Hey, Ella, great job on your... I could trim right here, so if I want to trim off the last little part. And when I'm done, just click Publish. Give it a name, and then click Upload. And then done. You can see that it adds this little video attached to the feedback area. So I've typed a few things in here, and I will click Return to give this back to Ella. Now we'll switch over to Ella and see how it looks on her end to get that video feedback. I'm signed in as Ella. Here's the Amazon Rainforest Report. I got the great job, Ella, and then here's the video feedback. So when I click this, hit play. Hey, Ella, great job on your... So you get that full video experience and feedback for your students. The second new feature is similar to video feedback, but it is the ability to attach files or links to the assignment that you're returning to the student. So I have Ella's paper up here on the Amazon Rainforest, and before you saw, I went to the new, and I clicked on video recording. I can also choose things like a Word document, spreadsheet, or PowerPoint. I could even add a whiteboard. So if I click here, I could attach a whiteboard, maybe sketch something, just like I added a video previously. I'll cancel here. I can also go to attach. So I can upload from my OneDrive, and maybe I want to attach a document, oh, a TPS report cover sheet. I could also do something like add a link. So maybe I have a link to a YouTube video. So I'm like, hey, there's a great YouTube video here. And I could say, here's a great Amazon video you might want to explore, attach that. This allows me to attach different files to the assignment right before I return it. So now I can just click return. The third new feature is support for YouTube in assignment apps. I'm going to create a new assignment down at the bottom, click create and then assignment. Now I'll go to apps. And when you choose an app, you're going to see YouTube. So click this. The first time you use it, you'll click add. And now I just paste in a link. So I'll paste my favorite link, which is the new reading coach video. Okay, and now I'm gonna click, now click save. It's added that video to my assignment and I'll just give it a quick title and then click assign. The fourth new feature is scan to PDF on mobile assignments. So I've opened up an assignment and I'm gonna take a photo. I'll tap attach and there's a new scan to PDF option. Tap that. Now I'm just gonna take a photo of my homework. So there's my Amazon rainforest paper and I'll hit confirm. And I can do things like crop it or I can rotate it. I have a couple different options here. So that could be a crop or I could tap on rotate and spin it around a little bit and then tap done. And now I'm ready to turn in. There's the sloth. The fifth new feature is mobile video recording support for reading progress. This works on iOS or Android. So here's an iPad. I'm gonna tap my assignment to go into it. Now tap on geography to launch it. Now at the bottom, I'll tap on camera on and then tap, let's go. Here's my countdown. Now it's gonna do a little quick video check. Hey, there I am, tap start recording. And you can see in the lower right, there's my video. I can even change the background color, a few things like that, make it black. Now I'll go and start reading. So I'll be reading through here, I'm scrolling down. And when I get to the bottom, just tap, I'm done. I can watch my video. So hey, there I am, there's my video. I could try again if I wanted. In this case, I'll tap use this recording to upload my assignment. Now I'm done, turn in. The sixth new feature is that we now support the Ukrainian language for auto detect and reading progress. We just put out a blog talking about this. With the large number of students that have been displaced during the war in Ukraine, this can help students that might not have the same ability to practice reading fluency We've also put together a brand new support article. If you have a student or a teacher who don't speak the same language, this explains exactly how to set up your documents and your passages so it can work for any type of student in a situation where the teacher might not be speaking the same language. These links are also in the description. 
If you want to keep up with all the latest Microsoft updates and tips and tricks, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get all the latest videos that I post.